Firstly, a massive thanks to everyone that's joined the channel. I think we've got 268,000 subscribers now. And I know it seems just like a number to most people, but it's a number that we watch constantly and we can't quite believe it every time it goes up. So yeah, thank you very much. Hi everyone and welcome back to Switch Up. A thanks to Asdin who has gone and played through the SD Gundam Battle Alliance demo and together we've worked on creating this performance review. The Gundam franchise spans over four decades with an abundant amount of anime, figures and games. Usually reserved for the Japanese audience, Bandai Namco is releasing SD Gundam Battle Alliance in the West. Is it worth you dipping into this beloved franchise when it releases in full next week? Well, let's find out. <laughs> SD Gundam Battle Alliance is a third-person hack-and-slash game where the player must fight off waves of enemies and carry out objectives in order to progress through the level. Upon reaching the end, the player will face off with a boss battle. There are tokens to collect along the way which can be later spent on upgrades. Now, your mobile suit has a number of attacks which can be performed with the X and Y buttons and these can be charged for a stronger impact. You can dash and fly but there is a stamina gauge which depletes whenever the aforementioned moves are executed. There are also two sub-weapons which reload automatically and a special attack which requires some time to regenerate. As far as mitigating incoming damage, you've got a guard button which eventually depletes and there's an emphasis on learning your opponent's moves and dodging accordingly. Both of these functions have a perfectly timed variant which will reward with a boon. Although I have to be honest, when I pulled them off it felt more by chance rather than skill because I was too fixated on surviving in each encounter. It's not a particularly hard game, but it does require the player to learn the controls and mechanics quite quickly. This is because bosses, in particular, really do pack a punch. There are some repair kits that you can use during battle by pressing down on the D-pad, but using one requires the mobile suit to remain completely still whilst it takes effect, leaving you open to attacks and adding a familiar level of risk and reward. The combat is simple to pick up and fun and each mobile suit plays differently. All-rounders are balanced, sharpshooters have great range, and then you have the infighters which excel in melee combat. Most battles in the demo you'll be able to have two teammates join you on a mission and it does allow for multiplayer although I didn't get to try that out on my own. Upon stage completion, you're rewarded with blueprints that grant you new units. There's an intermission where more of the story is revealed through conversations with your team within the base, and I did feel like these texts could go on quite a bit. The game features expository text that can go on for a while, but these sections are more of a visual novel that helps correlate the mashup of the 26 different Gundam stories and how their timelines are being disrupted. Those familiar with the Super Robot Wars series will feel right at home with the pacing of this game. At this early stage, things are looking quite good for Gundam. Fans of the franchise will really get a kick out of controlling the mobile suit and flying, dashing and smashing into buildings is as exhilarating as I'd hoped. Although the demo is limited in its capacity, it will give players a good idea of what to expect from the game and I'm personally excited to see how different Gundams appear in each other's timelines. We will have a full review of this one around launch, so make sure you keep your eye out on that. Onto the visuals and performance, all of the mobile suits in the game appear in the chibi version, which seemed initially a little counterproductive and a tad doltish, but their bulky forms do feel appropriate, and seeing each mobile suit carrying out their ultimate attacks certainly invokes a sense of awe as the drama is amplified. In terms of textures and scenery, they can feel slightly antiquated, but it serves the purpose as well. Levels surrounding you with buildings give the player a true sense of being in a bipedal giant war machine, and it feels great. As far as audio goes, the voice segments are voice acted in Japanese and the two-dimensional characters have been drawn in the style of the anime they represent. This is a nice touch as it did aid the fans to quickly recognise them, as well as conserving the purity of the legacy of each chapter of the long-running franchise. The true star here are the mobile suits themselves, both as the 2D images or in their three-dimensional glory. Fans' favourites are here, and even if yours is a miss, there are different iterations of hero and villain mechs at your disposal. Being able to pilot the Cyclops looking MS-06 Zaku, a common entry grunt within the Gundam universe for example, resonated with me and I guess a comparison would be it's akin to using a TIE fighter in Star Wars. It's always nice to play with the bad guys toys. The soundtrack's decent full of rock and punk, fast-paced songs that help amplify the adrenaline during heated battles, and the audio fidelity is also on point. In handheld mode, things look equally good, and as far as I'm concerned, text size doesn't seem to be an issue. 
As for value then, well the full game is going to be downloaded from the eShop for £54.99 or your regional equivalent on the 24th of August and it's going to have a 14.2 gigabyte download. Other options are available that include downloadable content and there's an English physical version available from PlayAsia but the price isn't any cheaper. At that price the full version better have a serious amount of content in it but I do feel that even having played through the demo it's going to be difficult for it to justify that steep price. Having so many Gundam IPs as well as the voice acting from the anime is bound to make fans more open to that price but it remains to be seen if the game will do enough for those that aren't hardcore fans. While it's feeling reasonably accessible, only the full review again will tell us what we need to know in that regard, so keep your eye out for that one. Final impressions though so far are that Bandai Namco have truly delivered something that Western fans have been waiting for for years. There seems to be a good balance here of the combination of hack and slash with the option of multiplayer that potentially could be what helps cement the Japanese franchise into the Western culture. I've personally got very high expectations for the game and look forward to bringing you that full review next week. Let us know in the comments if this is a game that you're keeping your eye on and a big thanks to Asdin for going through the demo and giving us his thoughts as a bit of a Gundam fan. I'll pop a link to his channel Grinning Wolf Games down in the description. It's one of those where having some idea of the series makes a bit of a difference. Alright, thanks to our patrons, thanks to all of you that enjoy the channel. If you enjoy the content then consider sticking around and remember you can save 10% on any of your Switch games using code SWITCHUP over at switchup.gg to buy your eShop credit. For all things Switch, all the time, keep it SWITCHUP. Cheers guys, see ya!